The biennial Fuse Glass Prize is a juried, non-acquisitive $20,000 cash prize for established artists from Australia and New Zealand working in the field of glass. It celebrates glass as a medium for contemporary creative expression. The exhibition of finalists for 2020 includes an extraordinary variety of work by 12 artists in the established category and 6 artists in the emerging category. Wonderful new talent is revealed in the emerging category, from the beautiful jewel-like small works of Matters and Zabel that deal with perception and illusion and the way that light interacts with glass, through to the collaborative blown work by Billy James Crillon and Bastian Thomas, which as you move around reveal beautiful little bellies in abstract forms. We see 3D printing used to create the negative spaces in the cast cubes of Alexandra Hurst and powdered glass floated onto glass sheets to create the diary-like linear extension that's backlit work of Erica Izzard. Hamish Donaldson's elegant and technically refined work references the water towers that you see in Outback Australia while Ayano Yoshizumi references her Japanese cultural traditions and the concept of ma, which refers to the negative space, in this case, in both two and three dimensions. The 12 finalists in the established category include some of the most accomplished artists working in glass in Australia and New Zealand today. We have Claire Belfrage, who was the inaugural winner of the Fuse Glass Prize in 2016, here represented with an exquisite group of hand-blown organic forms inspired by nature. We also see organic form represented in the work of Nadej Dezienetes, whose work references the human body. And the organic theme continues in the sublime cast lead crystal work by New Zealand-born artist now based in South Australia, Wendy Fairclough. A compelling feature of this year's exhibition is the epic scale wall piece by New Zealand artist Catherine Whiteman, which incorporates video footage and references vintage wallpapers. The work of Madeline Proud is a masterful reinvention of traditional Venetian techniques using cane. Similar techniques are used in the work of Marcel Hoogstead Hay, who unravels the form to create a wall-mounted piece. The work of Penny Byrne, produced while on residency at the Canberra Glassworks, references the Hong Kong protests of 2019, but could easily be an emblem of our times. Hiromi Tango's work, using glass neon tube, coloured acrylic and silk from old kimonos, speaks to the calming influence of her mother in anxious times. Jeremy Lapisto's work in steel and cast glass plays with the structures and systems that shape our urban environment. The ethereal and striking work of Yasuki Takamura is an extraordinary technical feat of both glass blowing and the laborious cold working processes used in its creation. Similarly laborious processes underpin the wall panel work of Kobe Coburn, which appears like a weaving of light and glass. Kate Baker's dark and compelling work is a mirror that combines photo imagery and glass to create an uneasy psychological space. This exhibition of finalists in the 2020 Fuse Glass Prize showcases the extraordinarily diverse possibilities of glass as an expressive material and celebrates the exceptional quality of work produced by artists in Australia and New Zealand. The exhibition is on display at Jam Factory in Adelaide from 6 July to 20 September and at the Australian Design Centre in Sydney from 9 October to 18 November.